Oh dear, another day, another old speaker. No, not quite as old as this one. Uh, this one is ridiculous. The innards of that contained an old moving iron speaker. Alas, that didn't work anymore, so it's got a Yamaha 12-inch thing in there. But uh, now we've uh, got a little problem with a man with a mission. Well, a pair of missions today. Mission 761 two-way hi-fi loudspeakers, uh, actually made in England, would you believe? And what had happened was the tweeter had packed up on one speaker. Because uh, he went away, leaving it playing classic FM, and when he came back again, uh, poor old Adam over at Ashford, he said, uh, hang on a minute, um, it doesn't sound quite right through one side. And the upshot of it was that the tweeter had gone fat. So, given that a new tweeter was, I think, going to be £15 or something ridiculous, and the, that's, that's the beast, of course, thoughts turned to how can we uh, procure one for rather less. Well, I scrapped a while ago a pair of, uh, I think they were Kef speakers, that I found on the bins down the road. No good trying to get those to work. Uh, the rain had got at them and uh, buggered up the uh, MDF casing. Would you believe that? Kef using MDF casings here? Yeah, I, know, I know times change, don't they? But uh, the speakers themselves, well, one woofer was damaged, but the two tweeters, I thought, I'll hang on to them. You never know. We had to enlarge the hole a little bit to account for it because uh, they're more or less the same but uh, that's slightly bigger but uh, the upshot of it is that we are now tweeting nicely I, I don't mean that silly thing on the interweb we don't get involved with that so the only thing i've got that's really powerful enough that's readily available is this to try them out with but they do sound rather crisp and clear again are quite pokey. I'll have to turn this old Phillips up about halfway. I think they're rated at something like 70 watts, so they're a bit bigger than most things I've got. That old Teleton amplifier I've got would probably do it, but uh, it's not immediately ready to use. One thing about these is, don't be tempted to fiddle about with them. This black plastic front is part of the actual structure of the speaker, and the these clips hold the magnet assembly in, but if you pop them off, the magnet will come out, and with it the voice coil assembly. It all falls to bits on you. So unless you're very sure when you put it back together again that it's all lined up, there's a good chance that uh, if it was working before, it won't be when you're finished. <laughs> what can I possibly say? Without being rude, nothing. But uh, no, they seem very good quality. They're from the 80s, um, 80s style lettering. The grills just pop off and on. He's done a very good job of uh, rejuvenating this fabric, using, of all things, uh, shoe polish, the liquid shoe polish. Returned it to its uh, black state. It was uh, faded and a bit grotty before, having been stored in a barn in a bin bag, of all things. I just don't believe the way some people carry on, and they call me a redneck. Anyway, see you soon.